वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट डिफरेंट माइग्रेशन मेजर्स लास्ट टाइम वी स्टडी अबाउट फर्टिलिटी मेजर्स एंड मोर्टेलिटी मेजर्स टुडे वी विल फोकस ऑन माइग्रेशन मेजर्स बिफोर गोइंग टू द माइग्रेशन मेजर्स आई विल प्रेजेंट हियर सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ माइग्रेशन लेट सी द मूवमेंट ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस बाई क्रॉसिंग इट्स माइग्रेशन डिफाइनिंग एरिया एंड मिनिमम टाइम ड्यूरेशन बाई चेंजिंग यूजल प्लेस ऑफ रेजिडेंस इज कॉल्ड माइग्रेशन Let's go to next definition. According to the Demographic Dictionary of United Nations, migration is such an event in which people move from one geographical area to another geographical area. When people leaving their place of residence go to live permanently in another area, then this is called migration. So, for migration to happen, uh, the people must move from one geographical area to another geographical area. Means they have to cross the boundary of the area, and they have to leave their usual place of residence and move towards the destination place to live there permanently. So, let's go to the types of migration. We have two types of migration. First is internal, and second is external migration. So, I have put this in the Uh, table here migration can be classified into two types internal and external migration internal migration means that type of migration where people move from one place of a country to another place of the same country they don't change the country so within the boundary of country if they move that is internal migration for example nepalese people moving from kathmandu to pokhara or Kathmandu to other places of Nepal so they don't cross the boundary or territory of the country in the same way external migration is that type of migration in which people move from one country to another country they cross the territory of the country for example nepalese people when they go to japan or other countries then that is external migration or the people from other countries coming to nepal in that process external migration is there uh, again in internal migration internal migration can be classified into two types in migration and out migration external migration also can be classified into two types immigration and emigration please remember look here in case of internal migration uh, when people Now for example you are from Kathmandu so your original place is Kathmandu and when you move to the target place another place that is your target place so uh, if people from another place maybe from Pokhara people from Pokhara come to Kathmandu then that is in migration for me because I am in Kathmandu I am living in Kathmandu my original place is Kathmandu so if people come from other places to Kathmandu so for Kathmandu it is in migration and if people go out from Kathmandu to other place then that is out migration for me okay let's go to another one external migration it can be divided into immigration and emigration in internal migration we say in migration but in external migration we say immigration when people come from other different countries to nepal we are in nepal so our original place is nepal so when uh, people from other countries come to our country that is immigration and if nepalese people go to other countries that is emigration so please understand very well internal and external migration in migration and out migration uh, immigration and emigration so when we are doing the different types of migration measures this in migration and out migration these are used so you have to understand it very well let's go to the different migration measures so we have got different migration measures so first before going to migration measures let's know what is migration measure what do you mean by migration measure so measurement of migration using different procedures and formula is called migration measures so same like fertility measures and mortality measures we can also measure migration so by using different procedures by using different formula and that is called migration measure so let's see the first migration measure that is imr in migration rate here i have kept here uh, dash so that you can differentiate it with infant mortality rate so this i dash mr means in migration rate so what is in migration rate we have already discussed 
so now when we are talking about in migration rate let's see the formula first in migration rate i dash m r is equal to i by p into thousand this i means in migrants means the people who migrate to our place and p means total media population and thousand is the expression so now you can define it very easily the total number of in migrants among thousand media population is called i dash m r how many um, people migrated to your place uh, in uh, that year among thousand media population that is imr so let's see here so look here the total in migrants in migrants means people migrating into our particular place from other place to our place they are in migrants so the total number of in migrants per thousand media population of that place is called in migration rate so it is calculated by dividing total number of in migrants by the total media population and multiplied by thousand you can see the formula it is calculated by dividing total in migrants by total media population and it should be multiplied by thousand so it is also expressed in per thousand because here we multiply it by thousand so you can see the formula this so let's go to another uh, migration measure that is out migration rate so we already know what is out migration so here also you can see the formula out migration rate is equal to o by p into thousand so here o means total number of out migrants p means total media population multiplied by thousand omr means the total number of out migrants o means here out migrants uh, out of thousand media population so how many people out migrated from your place to another place how many people went to uh, other place from your place out of thousand media population that is called out migration rate so if you define this here the total out migrants means people migrating from a particular place to other place so the total out migrants per thousand media population of that place is called omr so it is also calculated by dividing total number of out migrants by the total media population and multiplied by thousand you can see this and it is also expressed by thousand so it is very easy one so let's go to next measure of migration that is net migration rate so you can see the formula first net migration rate is equal to i minus o by p into thousand here you can see i means in migrants o means out migrants p means media population and thousand is there so you can define it very easily looking this uh, formula look here the difference between in migrants and out migrants look here the difference between in migrants and out migrants per thousand media population per thousand media population of a particular place and time is called net migration rate it can be calculated by dividing the difference between in migrants and out migrants by the total media population and multiplied by thousand so first you have to subtract in migrants with out migrants and you have to divide it by media population and multiply it with thousand so the numerical problems we will do in another video so only i will take the theory class this time now last measure is gross migration rate here you can see the formula so gross migration rate is equal to i plus o by p into thousand here now you can say the sum of in migrants and out migrants uh, per thousand media population of a particular place and time is called gross migration rate here you have to uh, add in migrants and out migrants so it is calculated by dividing the sum of in migrants and out migrants by the total media population and multiplied by thousand so here in this way you can calculate it. you can add so in net migration rate we subtract in migrants and out migrants here we add so please remember now some numerical problems are there so you can pause the video you can take the screenshot and you can try to solve them the simple questions are asked like this sometimes calculate imr of a country in the year 2015 if the total media population was 42,68,900 and total number of in migrants were 56,800 
43 so here total median population is given and total number of in migrants is given so you have to find out imr by using formula imr is equal to i by p into 1000 i is given p is given so you can easily find out this in the same way another one if the median population of a province was 45,89,312 and a total of 56,743 people migrated from the province to settle permanently in other provinces in a specific year, calculate the OMR of the province of the given year. Here you have to find out OMR means out migration rate. Here total median population is given and uh, 56,743 people out migrated when to other provinces permanently so uh, you have to use the formula o by p into thousand this o is given here the people who went out of that province o and uh, p media population is given you can easily find out this now sometimes you are asked the mixed question in a state within the year 2007 to bs 4 lakh 52 thousand 390 people in migrated 3,40,978 people out migrated and the median population of the state was 56,43,789 now you have to calculate NMR and GMR together so here uh, you are given in migrants number of in migrants number of out migrants and median population so separately you have to find out NMR and separately you have to find out GMR so in this way if you practice this it will be so easy for you so <clears throat> about this nmr when you are finding out nmr the answer may come in minus sometimes the answer of nmr can be a positive as well as negative means the answer can come in plus or minus for example if uh, out migrants means the people who go out of the place uh, out migrants are more than in migrants what will happen the answer will come in minus so the answer of nmr will come in minus so nmr can be positive as well as negative if in migrants are more and out mi migrants are less the answer will come in plus if out migrants are more then the answer will come in minus so net migration rate can either be positive or negative if we see the example here we have in migrants number of in migrants 4,52,390 number of out migrants 3,40,978 in this case whose number is more in migrants number is more i is more o is less so in this case nmr comes in plus suppose this is uh, in migrants number of in migrants and this is number of out migrants so if this is number of in migrants this is less out migrants more so when out migrants are more the answer will come in negative minus so nmr can be uh, either positive or negative